Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 489. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got some news for you this week. So let's not delay really and hop right into it. First up is limited edition Kotobukiya Applejack figure announced and delayed Celestia. Written by Sophisto. Applejack is up next for Kotobukiya special edition treatment, gaining the Equestria Girl style skin tone as well as clear hair with sparkles similar to what we saw from their previous limited figures, Fluttershy being the last one. And uh, yay, that is Fluttershy. Yay, best poem. Um, Applejack is scheduled for release in Japan sometime in July of 2022. You can find her over here in link here. I wonder if this is yes. Ah, this is the American side, not the Japanese one. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Yep. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I've also included gallery below for convenience. And in other news, Celestia has been delayed until summer of 2022. Bump, uh, bump up from her February drop due to unforeseen circumstances. So expect to get your Celestia later in the year instead. So let's talk about Applejack for a bit. So what we're getting here is the Kotobuya figure. Uh, previously they released the uh, normal, quote unquote normal version of the Kotobukiya figure where uh, she has human, skin, uh, human toned skin and normal hair and her pony figure has normal mane and tail and in this version, uh, the Kotobukiya version, uh, we can see that her hair and skin tone is similar to what we got in Equestria Girls. Um, as you can clearly see at the back of her hair, uh, we see it being almost translucent and clear uh, and also a bit of sparkle in them and uh, her skin tone is similar to what we saw in the uh, Equestria Girls specials or Equestria Girls in general and her pony figure also has the same treatment um, her mane and tail are in that translucent sparkly mold that they have <clears throat> so this is kind of cool and if you are a... how do I put this? if you already collect the original 7 uh, that release, not including Celestia and Luna and also Cadence? I'm not 100% sure if they did Cadence. But anyway, um, if you already got those from the very beginning, um, should you get this? <sighs> it's up to you really. Um, honestly speaking... Mm, oh man, this is hard. Like, uh, so, A party inside of me says, yes, go get it. But another part says, nah, you already had the original 7 or whatever it is, so why why need to spend more? But if you're a completionist, probably yes, but if not, it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> and in other news with uh, this, the delay Celestia, yes. Um, Kotobuki mentioned something about unforeseen circumstances, so uh, it could be almost anything um, from the production, the way that it's made, uh, the coloring, the quality assurance, QA, uh, there, there, there is so much um, speculation going on here that it's just pick one and go with it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, can't say much about this one, but at, at least you get to save a bit of your cash in February. Uh, I'm not 100% sure when summer is, but hey, uh, if you are interested in getting it, yeah, why not wait for a bit? Let's move on to the next news. Next news is Pop Mart My Little Pony Leisure Afternoon Series now available for order. Uh, very disposed of it, uh, deleted at some point. I have no idea why. Okay. Um, strange. <clears throat> um, written by Savito again. Last week we posted about a second series of Pop Mart figures. Uh, today they are officially available for pre-order. Uh, they can be ordered individually in blind box form for $11.50 or as a whole set for $130. The page 
to do the ordering globally is over here. Uh, get a few more images below or check. Okay. <clears throat> so we've seen a few of this when we reported on it last week or two weeks ago. I don't remember. But these are kind of the cool figures where uh, the ponies are hanging out on desserts and they're revolving around desserts and whatnot. And I remember um, the Twilight here, this one, she's hanging out um, with um, chamomile black tea or something like that. But um, take a look, see at the price. Um, what, one is about $11.50. So if you times 13, that would give you about a dollar and forty-five fifty cents. So they mentioned if you get the full set, it's about one thirty. So it'll be saving about twenty dollars. So that's pretty okay. Um, if you are interested in getting all thirteen, um, go buy them in the links that Sapisto uh, supplied. <clears throat> they look cool. They look great. And yeah, oh man, yeah, I, I, oh man. I, I think when we, I reported, <clears throat> I reported and saw. Um, some of the sorry, um, I, I I saw the previous figures. Um, some of the locals here got them, and they look great. Uh, a friend of mine wanted Rainbow Dash, and he luckily got it on the, his first try. So buying okay, if you're a completionist, buying the whole set would be the way to go. But if you just want specific ponies, um, what you can do if you have a community for it. Uh, is to trade, to trade. That's the thing. Um, trade for what you want, and yeah, it, be done with it. But in all honesty, uh, if it were me, I would get all thirteen. <laughs> oh man. Um, let's take a look at this one. This one is very fascinating. The design says twelve designs may have secret. <clears throat> and uh, let's see how many boxes we have. So. It's about uh, 1, 2, 3 times 4. I am bad at math. Uh, There'll be 12. Oh, that's very annoying. <coughs> is it? Is it now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Oh, that is... Whew, that is annoying. Um, okay, um... Hmm. So... You probably, for some of you, you might have noticed what's uh, what's a big problem here. But if you don't get it yet, um, here here is um, I mentioned before there are thirteen figures, including the hidden uh, cadence variant. But you're getting twelve boxes here, so I think I mentioned this previously. I'm repeating myself, but just for the sake of brevity and just for a recap um, you're getting 12 boxes here and the chances of getting cadence is probably one one in a carton and what I mean by carton is that um, one pr probably what um, uh, this is one box one carton probably will have four boxes of this um, that what you call this uh, that 12 so basically one carton would have four boxes, so 12 times four would be 48. So you would have, uh, so uh, you might get 40, uh, man, uh, the math in my head is, uh, what, what I'm trying to say is, um, if you want to get that cadence variant, you might need to buy more than one box to get her and even if you do get her on the first try with the whole set now you need to find that other pony that's that you didn't get <coughs> man that's annoying the collector in me says ay, ay, ay. sorry about that <clears throat> so anyway uh, 130 for all I wonder if there's a discount if you buy a carton of it Man, that's annoying. But, <sighs> hope you guys get all of it. I certainly would love to, but not, don't have any money for it. I have bills to pay. And last but not least, 
New G5 My Little Pony video game listed up in Australia. My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay Adventure, written by Sephisto. A brand new classification created today over on the Australian Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Communication in their computer game section with the title of My Little Pony, a Maritime Bay Adventure. The most interesting part Oh, sorry. The most interesting better than my tongue. The most interesting part is its multi-platform detail buried within, meaning it could very well escape the world of phones, where Pony has been stuck for the last decade. Uh, the game is set to be produced by Melbot Studios and published by Outright Games LLC. Creators, uh, creators of a whole host of console and PC games from Peppa Pig to Fast and Furious. Of course, these are all completely kids focused, so we probably wouldn't. Sorry, we probably shouldn't expect the next Skyrim Pony Edition. But at least we will get something that hopefully isn't just microtransaction factory like G4. Uh, okay, we will keep you posted on anything else that pops up. Maybe Hasbro will release something inform so, some information during their live stream this year around Toy Fair. Okay, so let's 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 have my my tongue. Let's take a look at Melbot Studios. <clears throat> okay, that's how you look. Melbot Studios, what? do we have here? What 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 are we uh, taking a look at? I don't see anything. Um, again, uh, I am not getting anything on that one, so let's try the publisher. Outright Games LLC. <coughs> like Sephisto mentioned before, we do have um, uh, red not read up uh, the Peppa Pig and also Fast and Furious but we do see here that they have other IPs that they have in their belt uh, coming soon the Hotel Transylvania Scary Tale Adventures uh, no no you know what I, I, I can live with that um, so uh, games let's, let's go for games that's, that's what we're focused on for our discussion here okay so they have the um, uh, what's that? Paw... Paw Pal? Paw Patrol! Paw Patrol the movie adventure uh, City Calls game. Um, I got no idea. I, I know that Paw Patrol has a following for some. So that's cool. Uh, Paw Patrol the movie adventure City Calls. So long Adventure Bay, Paw Patrol is on a roll to Adventure City, blah blah blah. Uh, okay, um, it's out now. Uh, it's available on Stadia, Nintendo Switch, PS4, Steam, and Xbox One. That is cool. So, um, like, like Seth mentioned, it's kid-focused, but I am curious at how much this is going to be. Uh, retailers, okay, you can buy them on almost every place that sells video games. Um oh, okay so yeah this is really kid focused so you got your platforming you got your um point and click action thingies and let's see yep yeah, to be expected it is not that bad it looks passable okay you got some okay <laughs> some kind of DDR game okay and all right, Ish. okay. So that was Paw Patrol. Okay, maybe maybe this one has a bit of action in it, right? Yeah, there's a bit of action racing. You're you're, you're driving a really cool car, and oh, this is interesting. There's more. The Nintendo console, um, Nintendo console. Um, that would be only the Switch right now. They don't have anything. They they don't have any what 3DSs right now. So anyway, uh, PS, uh, Nintendo, PS4, PS5, Steam, Xbox, and Google Stadia. Uh, 
uh, available now on PS5. Enhancement includes dual sense control and okay, yeah. Uh, this one is a bit different. Th this one is a bit different. Um, uh, let's see, let's see. It looks interesting. I mean, it's simple. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's not going to be the next Need for Speed or anything like that, but the game looks um, passable. Yeah, that, that's how I have to say. The, the game looks passable and it's interesting. So, um, for comparison, or for what I think is going on in my head, is that the company, uh, Outright Games, uh, what, what how they would focus is on is the audience like who is this going to be aimed at um, with uh, Fast and Furious Spy Racers um, that one is going to be um, older children to young teens probably from the age of 10 to 15 maybe I I'm just I'm just throwing darts here. That, that, that's how I think. And they want to make it more action oriented, racing, blah, 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 like how the show is. Um, with Paw Patrol and with the Pachama and Mass Hero Knight. They're, they're going for more kiddie things, like more simple um, activities. Uh, let, let's check out Peppa Pig for a bit. I do remember Peppa Pig in the store, funny enough. <clears throat> huh. Dual sense control, active card support. What does that mean? Huh. Okay, so Peppa Pig looks almost like a show, which is not that hard because um, I'm thinking that they are using flash or something like that. But yeah, that looks so accurate, and this looks okay. This this looks um I got no idea what I'm looking at. Oh, for all I know, this could be show snippets <laughs> but no um i can't wait for them to do something with my little pony and yeah if it does come out if it does come out i'll try buy it on steam if it's not available on steam i'll buy it on my ps4 or switch just because right cut anyway let's move on to the next topic and the next topic is what have i been with my week Oh boy. <clears throat> so, um, what have I been doing in my week? That is a very interesting question. Um, since last week I didn't do, I didn't have a show, so I have two weeks worth of stuff to talk about. But funny enough, nothing really happened. Um, one of the few things is um, last Saturday, I think, I got my vaccine shot. Not really got, I, I got the booster shots. And it was okay. Um, took me. Uh, it knocked me out the day after. Sorry, the day. After, yeah, the day after. Um, was feeling the chills. Slept all day long and didn't really do much because well, I was kaput. So, um, rest up for a bit and well, did nothing much really. Um, I play a bit of games to fill up the time. Uh, played stuff like Hades and Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on Steam. Uh, man, uh, I haven't played the mod version of the game yet. Uh, if you if you do enjoy Marvel vs. Capcom 3, you do you you've seen a lot of uh, videos going on about the game, um, about how modders are inserting uh, certain characters like Shin Akuma. Or can into the game, or even Cyclops, and that's pretty cool. Uh, that is pretty cool. Um, other than that, there's nothing much really. Um, besides that, I sorry. Um, yeah. Besides that, Chinese New Year came along and hang out with a bit. Of, uh, hang out with some friends, celebrating the holiday. Um, visit a few people and got to play a bit of Magic. Which was fun. Uh, played one of my latest decks, ideas, and so on. And all in all, it was a fun time. But yeah, so that's about it, really. Um, did didn't really do much. Didn't really do much. <clears throat> Not sure about next week, but next week should be fun, I think. 
So anyway, let's wrap things up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at imagedreamer.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, you can also reach us on the Twitter. So show Twitter account is at the Media Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Uh, also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PlanetLive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, do subscribe and read us on... Sorry, do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you can catch me and, well, some people, some, some guests maybe. Uh, Tara should be along, I hope. Uh, he is busy with life. So is Silver. Silver is busy too. He might make a comeback, interestingly, I hope. And also, uh, yes, do do subscribe, do subscribe. It'll be fun. <laughs> uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Mr. of Like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!